Hi guys! So today I thought I would do a video about the best and worst things that I found about working at Claire's Accessories. The one I'm going to start with could be a good or a bad thing, depending on who you are and how you look at it. Um, for me this was a great thing because as you can tell by my channel I love any job that involves dressing up and wearing costume of some kind um, <clears throat> and at Claire's basically on Saturdays they do this thing called dress to sell I think it has a few different names but we called it dress to sell and um, sometimes there would be a theme other times there would not be a theme and basically it's where the staff would have to uh, take out a certain amount of money's worth of stuff from the store and wear it for the day uh, to kind of to promote it. So I think sometimes some of the themes included when the Brit Awards were on we had Brit Awards so my store did Spice Girls <clears throat> so I took out some stuff and kind of dressed as Baby Spice um, and at Christmas they kind of do Christmas ones where you're dressed up in like the Christmas accessories um, and I think it was meant to be a hundred pounds worth of stuff that you were wearing but I found that basically impossible every time. I don't think I ever managed to get that much stuff out. So dress to sell is really fun um, and if you're going to Claire's on a Saturday that's why the staff might be wearing loads of the stuff. Without a doubt the best thing about working at Claire's that I probably didn't take full advantage of, which I should have done, is the 50% discount. 50% is a really good discount for retail. Um, I know a lot of friends that have retail jobs and their discounts are like sometimes like 20%, 25%, 30%, but Eclair's 50% discount, which is really incredible to be honest, especially if something's already pretty cheap in there. And also it means if you see something in there that you like that is one of the more expensive items, like a bag or um, what else is expensive in there? Something like a bag, then it can be, it can like cut the price in half, so you still get a pretty good deal on it. Um, and obviously you're always seeing the new stuff come in, so if, you, if the delivery comes and you really like something, then straight away you know you want to get it. After your shift, you can just pay for it and get your 50% off. I'm going to say this is one of the better things about working at Claire's, but I know that a lot of people wouldn't find this a great thing. But to be honest, okay, so basically at Claire's, um, they do Claire's parties where parents can like hire out the store for an afternoon and for a couple of hours and have like their kid's birthday party there. Um, and I th don't think there's a set way of doing it. I did two parties the whole time I was there and um, usually it's a case of like we'll get out some of the old makeup and like do the kids makeup and let them like try on clothes and do like a fashion show. Little things like that that you can kind of work around what you have in the store. And I think as well the parents can pay a certain amount so that at the end each kid has like £10 worth, of s 10 pounds worth to spend. So like instead of a party bag uh, the parents put aside £10 for each child and the child's, the kids can go around and get £10 worth of stuff at the end instead of the party bag, which is really nice. But I understand a lot of people don't like children, <laughs> so maybe that wouldn't be a great thing. But to be honest, if you're not a fan of kids, don't work at Claire's because you get a lot of kids, especially in half terms and summer holidays. It's always children and you're going to be piercing the ears of children and doing parties for children and talking to children. So. If you're not a kid person, maybe work somewhere else. Ear piercing. Now, I enjoyed the ear piercing once I was trained and once I knew what I was doing. If it was an older person, if it was anyone above the age, anyone who's like a teenager or older, I didn't mind piercing their ears. But at Claire's, the policy is that as long as the child is... Ooh, I was going to say three years old, but I think we actually do it from like... A certain amount of months old as long as you've got the um, blue book or whatever it is signed by the doctor to say that they've had their jabs and stuff like that. So half the time you're piercing ears of really really young children which can be quite terrifying um, because they don't sit still and if you do it wrong then you have to do it again which can be even more of a nightmare. So the ear piercing was not my favourite thing about working there because a lot of the time I was doing children's ears um, but an interesting thing that you might not know, and I don't know if they do this at all Claire's, but what we did at the store I worked at was that if it was a child, quite a young child, we would have two ear piercers, like someone doing each ear, so you can do it at the same time, um, just because it's easier, and we would have a code sort of thing, so like we'd be ready at each ear, like on a person on each side, and one person would say, 
Sophie, have you shut the back door yet? And I would say, no, I'm gonna do it now. And on now is when we would do it and then the kid isn't expecting it, so it's not as scary. So that's a really good tip and a really, one of the most interesting things I found about working there, because it did work a lot of the time. One of the worst things about working at Claire's was the amount of kids that tried to shoplift. Um, because I think it's mostly the earrings because they're quite easy to just like on the sly take them off the thing so you're not so you're literally just taking the earring out of the packet and taking it out of the shop with you but another interesting thing about Claire's is that you might think that all those mirrors that you have on the ceilings are just so that when you're trying things on you can look in them and see how you look and it's for your convenience when in reality it's because the angle of the mirrors allows us from the till and from around the shop to like see below you so we can see if you're like trying to steal things. The worst thing of all that I found about working at Claire's was when we had to price down the sale items. Now the stock room of Claire's, you might notice when there's a sale on you go in and a lot of the stuff is always in the sale, like every time there's a sale it's that there's like a few new things but a lot of the time things like the, uh, the braces and the neon bow ties and the tutus and all that stuff is in the sale every time um, and putting the sale stuff out was horrible because in the stock room we have boxes of like different types of things so the sale boxes are just full of really old stuff that was so messy and disorganized and it was nasty it was horrible having to rifle through it because half of it's broken or like it doesn't have the uh, packaging with the barcode and it's just like loose in the box so putting the sales stuff out was definitely one of the worst things. Another really bad thing about working at Claire's and to be honest I will say Claire's is the only retail job that I've had so this might happen in all shops but it felt like at Claire's we were doing it really often um, and it was called Planogram which was where head office would send us uh, a new layout of the shop, like how they wanted things to be, and we would have to take every display down and basically just move it to another place. And I think it's because psychologically the customers come in and they think, oh it looks different in here, they must have new stuff in, when in reality like a lot of it is the same stuff but we've just moved it around to make it feel different. And that was horrible because they just send you pictures of how they want each thing to be and you have to make it look as similar to how it does on the printout. Um, which is a nightmare as well because the stores are quite short, uh, quite small, or a lot of them are anyway. So you never have that many staff on, so you're trying to like get all that done as well as getting up every two seconds to serve a customer. Another really terrible thing about working at Claire's, and I do also just want to say that I've noticed a lot of these are turning out to be the worst things as opposed to the best things about working at Claire's, but to be honest I did actually really enjoy working there, I loved dressing up, I loved meeting the people that I worked with they were all really friendly and to be honest if I was a shop I would be Claire's so it was the best suited retail job for me I think but another really bad thing that everyone hated about working at Claire's was that the playlist we got sent a playlist by head office or it's like the Claire's radio thing and it has the same songs on and every month or two maybe they'll send a new one with like maybe five new songs on it and uh, it gets to the point where when the new songs come on you're like oh my god a new song great but other than that it's like the same songs and I go I haven't worked there for nearly two years and even when I go into Claire's now I hear like the same songs on and I'm like really they're still playing this and it was terrible because you would hear the same songs several times a day and it drives you a little bit insane. Another not so great thing about working at Claire's is that the what do they call it? I think they call them till lines and so basically you'll notice if you've been into a Claire's store you get to the till and they have loads of little smaller things at the till and the sales assistant might say to you oh can I interest you in one of our beauty blenders for two pounds they're probably more than two pounds in that case anyway the little things at the till basically you have a sheet at the start of the day with everyone's name on and every time you sell one of those things by the till you have to mark it down and to be honest, there's not an incentive for it. You don't get anything from doing well. Um, and you don't really get punished if you don't do great, I don't think, unless you're literally selling none of them. Um, so you have to try and sell those as much as possible. But to be honest, 
I can say this now, I don't bother anymore, I guess. I often, if I noticed that other people had sold more than me, I would kind of add one on here and there, because I don't think there's any way that they're going to really know, as long as you don't take the piss. Um, so having to sell those was really annoying, but the good thing would be that sometimes some of the things by the till would also be elsewhere in the store, so if someone came over with, for instance, like those makeup phones, if those were on the till one day, if someone picked one up from the store and brought it to the tilt, that counts as well, so you can mark that down. But having to do that in general was really annoying. Thank you for watching this video guys, I hope you found it interesting, and I do just want to say one more time that I did really enjoy my time working at Claire's, and the people I worked with were all super lovely, and to be honest, who wouldn't love a job where you get to wear a tiara every day? It's the dream. <laughs> See you soon!